Okay, in this video, I'd like to begin my tutorial series on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number one, and I'm going to discuss vector components. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So my course on electromagnetism is aimed or pitched at those doing undergraduate physics. So for that reason, I'm sure that you've done a course in vector calculus yourself. So this is just a quick revision, and it's just to ensure the notation or confirm the notation that I'm going to use. So in our rectangular coordinate system, we can describe space as follows. So let's say we're talking about three spatial dimensions, where we have the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. So in order to give direction to our vectors and talk about the direction of the vector, we like to use three particular ve vectors as what we call the basis. So these, these three vectors make up, uh, or with these three vectors, you can make up any other vector in your space. So we break them up as follows. On the x-axis, we associate the i-hat unit vector with it. On the y-axis, we associate the j-hat unit vector. And on the z-axis, we associate the k-hat unit vector. So a unit vector, we'll say the k-hat unit vector, is a vector of length 1, or magnitude 1. And how you get it is you get your vector k, and you divide it by the magnitude of the vector k. And that's k-hat. Or we'll say that's any vector. We'll say that's how you get any unit vector. So this k-hat unit vector would be a vector pointing in the z-direction of magnitude 1. The i-hat unit vector is a, a vector of magnitude 1 pointing in the x-direction, or the x-axis, the positive x-axis. And the j-hat unit vector is a vector of unit, um, of unit length which points in the positive y-direction. So for that reason, if you want to make any arbitrary vector in this particular space, using these three vectors as our basis, let's say A, we have the x component A sub x in the i hat direction, we have A sub y in the j hat direction, and we have A sub z in the k hat direction. Alright? So, um, there are other ways, of course, of expressing our space. We, this might be called the rectangular this might be called the rectangular coordinate system. Now, you're able to go to spherical coordinates, which talk about a sphere, and uh, or you might also talk about cylindrical coordinates. So if you look at my video number 38, I direct you actually onto another video of mine where I talk about spherical or polar coordinates. And But that's not necessary for, for, the, for the current videos. So all I want to do, like I said, is I use i hat, j hat, k hat. Some authors will use x hat, y hat, and z hat, but I don't do that. Okay, I use i hat, j hat, k hat. Now, as I'll show you later on when I talk about the dot product and the, the, the cross product, but the, 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 we'll say, I'm just going to, I suppose, skip ahead. If I take two vectors, uh, a and b, let's say, and I take their dot product, well, that, well, that works out is how parallel they are. How parallel they are. So if they're parallel, well, the answer is just going to be equal to a, B, and if, it, if, they're, if they're perpendicular, the answer is zero. So because we're after defining, the way we're after defining our unit vectors, that means i hat dot j hat, and we'll say i hat dot k hat, and finally j hat dot k hat, the dot product of those is all going to be zero. However, if you take the dot product of i hat and i hat, or j hat and j hat, or k hat, and k hat, you get, of course, 1. So, look, that's all I want to say about that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and you might also visit universityphysicstories.com.